we arrive to the place where the show is gonna happen. Hey guys, welcome to Oxy Vlogs, and today I have a special guest. He's an artist who performs in number one show in Dubai. And uh, he has a motivational and very inspirational story to share with you. So let's start. Thank you, Andy, for coming. And please, can you introduce yourself in a couple of words? What do you do in Dubai? Where are you from? Thank you for the invitation. I am Andy Campos. I am from Cuba. I am performing in La Perra in Dubai. By the way, guys, watch this video till the end because our guest prepared a special gift for you, so don't miss out. Okay, coming back to the past, um, when did you start doing sports? How old were you? I was uh, five years old. My dad introduced me in the gymnastic. In the beginning, I didn't like the sport, but uh, after like a couple of months, I started to like the gymnastic to jump, to do acrobat, uh, to do some handstand. Yeah, this is, was my beginning. And how long have you been doing gymnastics? Gymnastics I was doing 12 years, from five years until 17 years. And what happened then? What happened that, uh, <laughs> I remember when I was in the national team in Cuba, uh, the fireman from the school, <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> so, uh, it was, I was 70 years. After that, um, I didn't do nothing in my life. I was five years in, in my life, um, in my original city. I was basically, I lost all my, <laughs> my condition, like a sport, like an athletic. Yeah, I remember one day when I moved to the capital of my country, I was sitting in my home and I said, no, let me think about the, to be performance, to be circus, circus artist. Uh, one day I went to the one company in my country. Um, the owner of the company, he asked me if, he, if I know how to jump trampoline. I said to him, yes, I know how to do trampoline because I was training trampoline as well. Uh, yeah, this was my be my beginning in the in the circus performance. I was training two years to make my act. I went to one festival in Cuba in 2014. I get the third place in this festival, and after that, I went to the UK. I was working in UK in one company, very nice company in UK. And after I went to France. I was working in France for three months. I was doing one TV show, very famous TV show there in Paris, and it's called Le Plus Grand Cabaret du Mundo. When I finished my contract in France, I went to Holland, very nice circus in Holland. And after Holland, I went to Canada, Montreal. I was working in Montreal for one, to come to Dubai, to La Perre. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, did they invite you to come to La Perla or how did you get this job? Uh, very nice question. Um, yes, I, w I remember I was in Cuba in 2014. I was working in the Big Top in Cuba, the Chapito, how we call And the owner of the company, he asked me, no, they're gonna come Dragone to make audition in Cuba. Dragone is the S artist director of Cirque du Soleil. Um, because I was very fan of Cirque du Soleil, always I was uh, watching all shows the Cirque du Soleil. I was thinking, it's true that Franco Dragon is gonna come to Cuba. So after three months, yes, the company came to Cuba. I did the audition. It was like a very big audition, a lot of people. Um, thanks God, the they accepted me from, to become performance in La Per. I was waiting for the contract like uh, two years, and now I, I live here in Dubai from 2016. <laughs> if we are talking about uh, working in Dubai um, as a performer, mm -hmm. do they provide you with accommodation, visa, tickets, like everything? Yes, um, I work in 
by Hadur. Hadur company is like a big company in Dubai. Mm -hmm. They provide my accommodation, transportation, food, insurance, mm -hmm. yeah, everything. I've been to La Perla show in 2018 and it's just uh, something fascinating <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm just wondering like do you have like, any fear like is it scary to do all these tricks so, like how do you feel on this stage a good question <laughs> yeah <laughs> when I perform in the in the stage I feeling <laughs> you see them the the feeling what I more enjoy to give uh, my energy to the audience I feel super, super exciting when I enter in the stage. My personality completely changed. I am a new person. So this is what I more enjoy to be performed. But how do you feel during the training sessions when you are practicing new tricks, for example? When I practice new tricks, it depends on the tree. If the tree is very, <laughs> very dangerous. Yeah, I feel scared, but I like to push myself all the time to improve myself. From the show, I jumped in from 20 meters. I remember <laughs> my first jump, it was like a very, very scared. But after when I did, I said, yeah, I can do it. So nothing happened. How many artists do you have approximately? We are 45 artists, 45 performers. And how do your daily life look like? Well, we are like a family. <laughs> we are from different countries. We have people from from US, Canada, Ukraine, Russia, Cuba, Brazil, Colombia. It's, it's very, <laughs> we are a big family. International team. <laughs> International team. So do you practice every day? Do you train? Yeah, we practice every day. And how many hours a day? Well, my job starts from 2 p.m. I finish the show at 11. From 2 p.m. till 11 p.m.? To 11 p.m. Non-stop. <laughs> Non-stop. <laughs> train me, train me, train me. <laughs> Wow. What was your first impression when you came to Dubai and how do you feel now? Well, my... <laughs> the first impression on Dubai is a messy city. I love Dubai. I feel in here like in my home. First, because it's very safe country, very safe city, uh, very cosmopolitan. You, you meet people around the world. This country will give you a lot of opportunity. Yeah. But that's how you feel now. But uh, how did you feel when you just arrived? Usually it's different feeling. Uh, uh, yeah, true. When, <laughs> when I came to Dubai, it was like a big impression because I come from Ireland. It's a small country. I came here to Dubai. I see all the bigger buildings. Mm -hmm. Wow, it was it's so beautiful city. The weather is no big change for me because also my country is hot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I came here in summer, it was like uh, super hot. <laughs> and humid. <laughs> and humid, yeah, and humid too. But uh, what about work? Was it uh, about something uh, normal for you or you worked really a lot compared to previous uh, uh, companies you worked for? My first impression was uh, to meet new people. I remember when I came, I didn't speak English, I have to learn English. <laughs> but here in the country, I learned many things in my life. I learned how to, how to try, how to speak English, how to communicate with a lot of people. Let's say if someone wants to come to Dubai and work as an artist or performer in this city, um, what advice would you give to them? To come to Dubai, uh, I think first you have to try to get the contract to explore more the market here in Dubai, how it's, how it's work. But you can also work like a freelancer, but you have to make your own visa, you need to live, you need to rent by yourself. For my experience, I worked for four years in one contract. The, the company, they have provided for me everything, uh, insurance, the house, uh, food. Here in Dubai, they have a lot of jobs also, like for dancers, circus, uh, singers. But my advice is first to get contract and after looking forward for new, 
new contracts or if you want to be like a freelancer also it's a very good opportunity to be here in Dubai. So how many days off do you have and what do you do in your free time? I have a Sunday, Mondays off but the, normally in my free time I like to go to the beach, pool but it depends also <laughs> of my free time because sometimes I'm busy with my personal training Actually, I do personal training also before to enter to La Perre from morning <laughs> and after I go to La Perre. And also, when I am off, also I, I use all my day off to, to do personal training. So basically, I don't have day off. <laughs> so this is your like, side hustle for training? Yes, that's so, correct. So uh, what kind of uh, trainings do you provide? Normally, I, give, uh, people, I teach people how to learn handstand, human flag, everything about inside of calisthenic. If you want to learn calisthenic, I can teach you how to learn calisthenic, but also I do personal training, how to, how to people lose weight to get better fitness life. If you want to learn how to do the same tricks like Andy, you have a chance to win a personal training session with him. In order to win, you need to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and in one week we will choose one winner. Good luck! Where do you see yourself in five years? What are your future plans? I want to stay in five years more in Dubai. <laughs> Dubai for me is like in my home, but after five years I want to move forward to Vegas. Vegas or I don't know, but maybe Miami, but I want to work in Vegas and Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a great conversation. Thank you for coming. And guys, if you haven't been to La Perla show, I highly recommend you to visit. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>